Hey Psych2Goers, and welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, we want to thank you for all the love you've given us. Your ongoing support helps us make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. Now let's continue. So, you've got a crush, don't you? Now, you might be wondering how to get them to notice you. You may also be wondering, how on earth will I know if they like me back? You know you could just ask them, but if you don't want to, or maybe it's in the very early stages of crushing, then we have 10 body language signs to help you figure out if your crush indeed likes you back. 1. They exhibit open body language. Open body language is a fantastic way to tell if someone likes you. This doesn't always mean they like you in a romantic way. But hey, if someone likes you enough to be their friend, they might like you enough to be more than friends, if you know what I'm saying. If someone is sitting in a relaxed, open position, or perhaps talking openly with their hands, they may subconsciously be showing that they like you. Closed off behaviors such as keeping their arms crossed, holding something in front of their body, or keeping their legs crossed and body stiff can all be signs that someone just perhaps isn't feeling it today. Or worse, they aren't feeling you. 2. They maintain eye contact. People tend to keep eye contact with someone they like. While this isn't always the case, as some people can be shy or not like the intensity of eye contact, generally, people who like each other romantically will want to meet each other's gaze. I'm sure you've heard of the classic, catching someone staring at you and quickly looking away. Yes, from across the room, you may catch your crush staring at you, only to quickly turn away and blush. But they can do this while talking to you as well. If your crush likes you, they'll show they're hanging on your every word by keeping eye contact. They may also just be getting lost in your dreamy eyes. <laughs> Forget about Ryan Gosling, your eyes are an ocean. 3. They mirror you. Have you ever found yourself adopting someone else's gestures or movements at a party or social gathering? It's not that you consciously intend to do so, but yet here you are, raising your pursed fingers in the air talking about Mario's famous Italian pizza. This psychological phenomenon is called the chameleon effect and was explored in further studies. Turns out, we tend to subconsciously mimic other people's behavior in certain social settings. That is, if we like them or want to be like them. People like people who are like themselves. So, next time you catch your crush mimicking your gestures or classic phrases or dance moves, they may like you as much as you like them. Unless they really like dancing and want to learn from you as a teacher, completely platonic. 4. They expose their neck or their wrists. People tend to open up to people they like and subconsciously show their weakest spots. Sounds kind of creepy, but it's not. Like having open body language, we may expose vulnerable parts of our body, like our necks or our wrists, to subconsciously show that we trust someone. We can look to Marilyn Monroe's classic neck tilting pose for inspiration. People may stroke their neck and tilt their head in interest to show that they like you. Showing their hands and not hiding them away in their pockets leaves another vulnerable part of their body, their wrists, open for attack. So don't be a mountain lion or anything and attack the poor person. Ask them out already. 5. They give you genuine smiles. Everyone knows about the polite smiles. We're not talking about those. We're talking about the full-blown, genuine smile. Now, they may be shy and try to hide their full smile. But oftentimes, when someone is having a good time around someone they like, they will let their teeth show when they break into a smile. If their cheeks are up to their eyes around you, they might just like you too. 6. They lean forward towards you. If your crush leans forward towards you when they talk to you, they may just fancy you. They not only want to hear what you have to say, but they want to be close to you too. And they also want to make sure what they're saying is heard clearly by leaning in closer. This type of closeness brings the relationship a step further than just good acquaintances or casual friends. 7. They act nervous and squirm around in their seats. When you have a crush on someone, you tend to get nervous. You may giggle or squirm or play with your hair or shuffle in your seat. This is good news. It means your crush likes you. Or they really need to use the bathroom. Not looking too good, my friend. Not looking too good. As long as they genuinely smile and look comfortable, they may just be fidgeting in their chair so much because they are nervous to be around someone they like. 8. They don't clutch their purse or their phone in front of them. If you catch your crush in the hall and they have their purse with them, pay close attention. Are they clutching their purse in front of them? 
Or are they opening their body and slinging their purse around their shoulder and behind them? This is a subconscious habit people tend to exhibit to show whether or not they like someone. If they put a barrier between the two of you, like their purse or their phone, they may not want to get close with you emotionally and physically. But if that purse is swung over their shoulder when you arrive, they may just have their heart set on you. 9. They reach out to touch you. People want to get close to the people they like. It's just common sense. And what brings people closer? Touching and physical contact. If an acquaintance is finding a reason to get closer to you, they may be interested. Just make sure you're both comfortable around each other. Remember to look out for that warning sign of closed off body language. If you're at a party and one of the people in your group keeps subtly or not so subtly putting their hand on your shoulder or innocently bumps into you on accident or not so accidentally or finds other ways to get close to you, they probably like you. 10. Their tone of voice is higher and comfortable. Our tone of voice can change around our crush and go to a higher pitch. Remember, people can be nervous around their crush, so your crush may like you but sound a bit nervous at first. As long as they are still open to getting to know you, see if their tone of voice changes from the oh snap, oh snap, oh snap, my crush is here tone to the comfortable tone they have when they are intrigued by someone. So, how does your crush's voice change when they're around you specifically? Have you recognized any of these signs in your crush? Has this video helped you to realize that your crush likes you? Let us know in the comments below. Please like and share this video if it helps you and you think it could help someone else too. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon for more Psych2Go videos. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.